thoughts on my kindle so far because i've had it for a few months at this point i'm going to be telling you guys some of my favorite books that i've read on my kindle and i'm also going to be telling you my current kindle tbr because i am going on a couple of trips in the next few months and i plan on only bringing my kindle with me on these trips so we need a stacked kindle tbr so yeah let's get into it Okay, so for starters, to tell you guys what Kindle I exactly have, I had to pull up my <laughs> Amazon orders. I have a Kindle Paperwhite, it's 16 gigabytes, and I think it's the 6.8 inch display in the color black. <laughs> I don't know what year it is specifically, but I will link the exact one that I bought on Amazon in the description in case anyone's curious. I bought it in the beginning of March and it is now almost the end of June, so I've had it for a few months now. And I'm gonna tell you guys sort of the journey of me getting a Kindle and then having a Kindle and then loving my Kindle. Let's just talk about all of it. I grew up as, you know, a feel the page girly, right? I grew up needing to have a physical book. I always went to Barnes with my mom growing up, always got, you know, a new book every once in a while, and I just lived for the physical books. And when I started to talk about books on YouTube, I noticed that a lot of people had Kindles, and I recognize why, because it is a lot to buy a lot of books, especially when you're reading them a lot, um, especially for videos and stuff like this. Um, and also just space, you know, you run out of space for books. Um, but when I started to make videos on here, I still was very like, I can never see myself getting a Kindle. I think I'm just gonna pace myself with reading, pace myself with buying books. Um, and that just hasn't been the case. <laughs> So eventually it got to the point where it really was a matter of space for me. I had so many books and not enough space for them to have a place. So I eventually, obviously, came to terms with it and bought a Kindle. Bought it off of Amazon, as you do. Um, it came super fast. I actually think the one I bought is on sale right now absolute steal. I ordered my Kindle. I was super excited for it to come in uh, and it came in and then I, okay, here's the thing, right? I got my Kindle and I turn it on, I charge it, I open up Kindle Unlimited. The options are endless on Kindle Unlimited. Like you hear that they're endless on Kindle Unlimited, but they really are endless and it was just like overload and I also, I was reading a physical book at the time and that was kind of putting me into a slump and then the overwhelming options that I had on Kindle, I just fell into the worst reading slump of my life. <laughs> Literally, like as soon as I got my Kindle, <laughs> which was not ideal and definitely didn't make any sense in terms of it being worth the money and the reason I got it was to be able to read more books and not buy physical books and all these things. And I just wasn't buying any books. I wasn't reading any books. It was pretty, it was pretty rough. Eventually, I decided to read the Dreamline Billionaire series, which is actually a book that I had on my physical TBR. I had the first book in that series on my physical TBR for like a month or so at that point and I just had never read it, I had never picked it up. And I was going to read the physical copy but something about it I just like couldn't get into it. So I said to myself, I don't want to get another slump, let's try to read this on my Kindle because I knew it was on Kindle Unlimited and I had paid for the Kindle Unlimited, I had bought this subscription and I was just paying for it and not using it. Start reading on my Kindle and I flew through the book. I flew through the book and I loved the book and then as soon as I finished it gave me the option to just save terms and conditions which is the next one because it's also on Kindle Unlimited and I I did and it just flowed and reading those books got me out of the worst reading slump of my life and I do think having my Kindle and reading them on my Kindle helped me in that. I don't really know what it was. Maybe it took off the pressure. Maybe it was just easy. You know what? I'll talk about the pros to the Kindle in a bit, but I just really fell in love with my Kindle. I got into my true honest Kindle era reading those books and getting out of a slum. So it's quite interesting that like getting my Kindle kind of played a role in me falling into that slump and then 
reading on my Kindle also got me out of the slump. I just want to say like if you're thinking about getting a Kindle you don't have to save every book on Kindle Unlimited. Have a general idea of maybe a book or two or, or, or just one book that you would want to read that you know is on Kindle Unlimited. Look that up and read it. Get comfortable with your Kindle. Figure out the settings you like. You know put put a pop socket on it maybe decorate your kindle a little bit if you want you know just get comfortable with reading on there because it is an adjustment if you've never read digitally before that's my journey of getting a kindle and then falling in love with my kindle okay now let's talk about pros and cons of having a kindle reading on your kindle or just a kindle in general i guess so to start with a few cons i would say I really don't have many. I honestly really don't have many. Maybe the one thing I would say is like the one I have is the one that plays the ads in the front and that just threw me off in the beginning because essentially it never turns off. Um, but I guess that was like a first initial con. The next one I guess would be just the overwhelming <laughs> this like the overwhelming feeling that you could get from kindle unlimited um and also just like i think because i got overwhelmed and then i fell into a little bit of a reading slump i was kind of like beating myself up a little bit for like paying for a kindle and also like paying for kindle unlimited because it is like a subscription sort of thing i guess in that sense it can be a little pressure if you don't read that much I wouldn't say to hold yourself to the same standards of people that are online and read online if you get a Kindle. Um, I would get a Kindle for personal reasons, maybe convenience, maybe you work, maybe it's easier to bring with you to places than a physical book, uh, that sort of thing. I guess another con would be the idea of annotating. You can annotate on a Kindle and I actually love annotating on my Kindle. It's very like carefree and it's not like super serious it really is ultimately just highlighting you can add notes but I typically don't but when I first started reading on my Kindle I was very into annotating so I did kind of feel like I missed the idea of using my tabs and everything and annotating like that and sometimes I still do but a lot of times <laughs> a lot of times I think I want to annotate a book so that I can take a photo and share that annotation with like you guys per se like on Instagram or something like that um but if I really let myself sit back and think like is it 100% necessary in a lot of the books I read I don't think so I've talked about this before I've talked about it in my annotating video and I've also mentioned it I think in one of my last reading vlogs I talked about doing a new annotating style and I think certain books do still call for it definitely but lately I don't feel it necessary to annotate every book I read per se a lot of times I just want to read the book and and that's it but I guess that could be a con because you're not using you know your tabs and you can't sort of color code your annotations or use certain styles so that you can remember things and, and refer back to them that sort of thing now it's not really a con for me because i'm not annotating as much as i was per se so but anyways let's get into the pros because there's a lot of lot and lot of pros so first things first is definitely definitely the battery life like i can't express enough i got the kindle i charged it fell into a reading slump like for a it was a scary amount of time for a reading slump and when I finally got back into it to read the fine print it hadn't lost any battery it just doesn't die I can't get enough but that is like a huge perk because say you're reading on like your iPad or something I know my iPad the battery sucks it drains so fast and I couldn't imagine if I was reading on it I feel like it would die in like a chapter like I'm not even kidding <laughs> The next pro is definitely once you get past the overwhelming feelings of the Kindle Unlimited library, if you do experience those, the endless options to read pretty much any book you want for just a small, you know, subscription reoccurring charge. I think Kindle Unlimited, let me see, let me double check how much it is. Too. Oh, so I think the one I got came with like three months of Kindle Unlimited for free. And then after that, I think it's $10 a month, something like that. You get this unlimited library of so many books. I mean, so many of my favorite authors, Lauren Asher, Lucy Score, all of her books are on there. 
the options are truly endless. And then if a book that you want to read is not on Kindle Unlimited, you can easily find it in the library for a very, very, very small price, much less. I At most times, it's more than half of the price that you will pay in, say, Barnes & Noble or Target or online, per se. So that's really cool. Another pro with reading on a Kindle is that you can really get so much more comfortable when reading on your Kindle. I always talk about this in my reading vlogs, but you can just get so comfy when reading on your Kindle, especially if you have a pop socket on it, which if you guys are curious, my pop socket is actually from Sun By Me, which is a Korean skincare brand that I'm an ambassador for, but they sent this to me. I don't know if they actually sell this, um, but it was part of my like rep package per se, but I really like a pop socket like this because as you can see, it's kind of like a little bubble. And I just feel like it's like a lot more sturdy and a lot heavier, so I can really like, you know, <laughs> hold my Kindle anyway and not feel like it's like a flimsy sort of pop socket. I feel like the regular pop sockets don't feel as sturdy and strong as this one, but especially if you have a pop socket, it can be so comfortable. Like I literally will be laying down like on my side with my covers up, just reading on my Kindle. And like I'm reading a full book, but you can't do that with an actual book. You can kind of do it with a paperback, but a hardcover, forget it. You cannot do that with, you just can't. I feel like I always have to like sit up or like kind of lay down and sit up while I'm reading a physical book. Because for me, I do read a lot at night. I am a very comfortable, cozy person. Those are things that I really prioritize <laughs> in my life. So if I can get comfy when reading a book, I'm kind of sold. It really is a game changer. If you read a lot at night or if you read a lot in a comfortable setting, even just like out and about or if you're like at work or at school or something, like it's a lot easier to just sort of be holding this little tiny, tiny thing. <laughs> you know? One more pro is that you can have Kindle Unlimited on your phone as well, which is really convenient because if you're reading, if you're in the middle of reading something on your Kindle, but you're out and you only have your phone, you can continue to read whatever you're reading on your phone, um, which I think is really cool. I don't really necessarily use that option as much, but I think it's a really cool option and, and I can definitely see how it could be a pro for people. So yes, that's very cool. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the pros and cons. I love my Kindle, as you can tell. Definitely more pros than cons. So now I'm going to share a few of my favorite reads uh, that are available on Kindle Unlimited and also my current Kindle Unlimited TBR. Okay, so in terms of favorite books that I have read on Kindle Unlimited and also it's just some Kindle Unlimited recs because there are a few books that I've read physical copies of but I know are available on Kindle Unlimited, so let's get into them. Okay, so first and foremost, I mentioned it before, but it has to be the obvious Dreamland Billionaire series by Lauren Asher. This is a trilogy that includes the fine print, terms and conditions, and the final offer. It follows three brothers' uh, different stories. Um, they each have an end goal that they're trying to achieve, and there's different things that they have to do, different sort of romance things that they have to explore in order to reach their end goal. Yeah, it's a really, really, really amazing series. One of my favorite romance series. I don't typically like series that are romance based but are different people's stories. I typically don't mesh with that very much. I just don't, I, it's not It's not my jam. Like when it's set in the same setting and it's just sort of like the same sort of thing, that's really tough for me. And I thought that's what this series was going to be, which is why I sort of held off on reading it for a bit. But they are all just they're similar enough but also very different from one another that it kind of feels like you're reading three different books that are just weirdly connected you know i have a reading vlog on the first two and then i also have another reading vlog of me finishing the last one in the series if you're curious on my full thoughts if you're curious give it a shot on Kindle Unlimited because it's, it's really good and I cannot recommend it enough. My next Kindle Unlimited recommendation is Flawless by Elsie Silver. This is, again, another start to a romance series. This is the Chestnut Springs series. I do believe there's four books currently and there's going to be a fifth released um, later this year, I think in October. I just read the first one, which is Flawless. So that is the one that I'm going to recommend to you guys. I really, really loved this book. It was such a fun read. I had the physical copy, started reading the physical copy, 
copy and then I said, you know what? I could tell by the flow of the story that I would just absolutely fly through this book reading it on my Kindle. So I decided to read it on my Kindle and I really flew through it. I've read it in like two days or something like that. It's a cowboy romance, but the description of the setting and just the overall feel and vibe of this I love this book so much. I really do like Elsie Silver's writing. I can't really put my finger on why, but I love the characters she writes. I love their stories, and I'm so excited to get into the rest of the characters in Flawless. It did give a little introduction to the other sort of stories that we might be reading in the, in the rest of the series, and just based off the way she introduced all the characters, I'm so excited to read the rest of the series. So the next recommendation that I have for Kindle Unlimited is literally anything by Lucy Score because all of her books, I'm pretty sure, all of her books are on Kindle Unlimited. You guys know how I feel about Lucy Score. I adore her books and I had the best time reading the physical copies, but I didn't even have a Kindle when I was reading most of my Lucy Score books, but I will say one thing about Lucy Score books that I think might turn people away from reading them is that they are quite long, they are quite hefty. I can grab one to give you guys an example. So this is Buy a Thread by Lucy Score and she is quite the hefty book. I mean, she's big and pretty heavy. So in terms of taking this around with you, you know, if you're in school or have work or something like that and you want to bring whatever book you're reading she's pretty hefty and pretty intense so i do understand why somebody might not read this book because of how long it is but not to worry if you have a kindle it is available on kindle unlimited and it's much easier to be holding this as opposed to this i do understand the cover is really cute so if you want to get the physical i, I don't I don't blame you either, but that is like the main, aside from Lucy Score books just being some of my favorite books, especially some of my favorite romance books, a huge recommendation if you're interested in her books, but you've been like, oh my God, they're so big. I don't know if I want to read that. Give it a shot on Kindle because it's much easier to read on there. <laughs> okay, now we're going to get into my current Kindle Unlimited TBR. This might actually not even just be Kindle Unlimited books because like I said, I am going on two trips coming up. I'm going on one small trip. Um, I'm literally in like seven days, I think. Um, this one's just a quick trip down to North Carolina because one of my best friends is getting married. Um, but I will, of course, have some downtime and a flight. Um, so I'm going to be bringing my Kindle uh, to read on there. So some of this TBR is with that trip in mind. And then I also, next month, will be going to South Korea, which is absolutely insane. I'm so excited to film videos there, especially book videos. I have a ton of ideas that I plan to do there um, surrounding books if you guys are curious and if you guys also watch my sort of k-pop videos then I will tell you that I am going to Korea because I won tickets to see 17 at their Seoul show <laughs> which is insane but yeah so I have a very long flight ahead with that trip and also Plenty of time uh, probably to read here and there so a big portion of this TBR is with that trip in mind so yeah so the top of my TBR and probably the books that I plan to read at least the next one on my first trip down to North Carolina is the rest of the Chestnut Springs series um, because it's just so summer it's so the vibe you know it kind of really is and I just finished reading Flawless and I'm so ready to read the rest of the series so I'm probably just gonna continue reading that series this week and then wherever I'm at I'll continue uh, on my trip in about a week but yeah I'm really excited to continue that series like I just really liked how she set the scene and set the energy of flawless I really really loved it felt as though they really truly liked each other like the characters for their personality and I really enjoyed that because I feel like a lot of times in romance it can tend to be very appearance based in terms of the descriptions especially when it's like 
their inner thoughts and why they like each other and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I really appreciated just how much they really liked each other as like individuals and also how much of individuals they really were. It really was sort of an opposites attract situation, but I really enjoyed reading it. It was a lot of fun and I really liked Elsie Silver's writing style. It was very carefree and very easy to read, but not cheesy and not immature, I guess. It was really good and I'm really excited to read the rest of the stories. And I really liked the descriptions of the setting and the ranch and everything like that. And also the family dynamic was really cool. I really appreciated that aspect as well. So I'm really excited to read the rest of them. And they're all on Kindle Unlimited. The next books that are on my Kindle Unlimited CBR is actually another Lauren Asher series. So I recommended the Dreamland Billionaire series to you guys. But the other series that she has is called the Dirty Air series. There's another romance series, but it's based in Formula One, which I think is really interesting because I guess it, it does fall into maybe like a sports romance, but it's definitely a different kind of sport. I adored the Dreamland Billionaire series and a huge reason for that was Lauren Asher's writing. I just, I could go on for days. And like I said, I have in my other, <laughs> in my other reading vlogs about those books and I don't want to go too too in depth on you know the book recs because that's not the whole point in this video but I really want to read her other series because I know she has uh, more books coming out uh, I think later this year so I want to read her other series before those come out so that I'm all caught up on Lauren Asher because she has become a favorite author of mine just through that one series. Okay then my last sort of bit of my Kindle Unlimited TBR is actually classics. I, the reason that I have some classics on my TBR, um, and it's no specific ones honestly yet, I feel like it would be really fun to read some classics while I'm on my trip to Korea because I'll just be surrounded by so much um, like history and stuff. I don't know, I just feel like it might be kind of fun. And I also would love to explore some other classics, um, maybe some that might align with the environment that I'll be in a little bit more, just something like that. I don't know, I just feel like it might be sort of nice to read something along those lines while I am on a trip like that. Some of the things that I have on my list to go to are really, you know, old bookstores or libraries and palaces and stuff like that. So the general idea of classic literature, which believe it or not, is available on Kindle Unlimited. Um, and if it's not, then you can of course just buy it on your Kindle, which will be worth it to me because I don't want to take up space in my suitcases with books. So I will just be bringing my trusty Kindle and my charger from my Kindle and calling it a day because I'll be there for about 12 days I think so well, my sticker is <laughs> my sticker fell all the way down but that's pretty much my TBR nothing specific but just you know just a general couple of series that I want to continue on my Kindle and then just a general genre that I want to read on my trip and also with the convenience of reading it on my Kindle I think it's really awesome so that is it for this video. That is it for my all things Kindle video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're curious about getting a Kindle, I hope this helps you get an idea of whether or not it is for you. Um, I do highly recommend it. But again, like I said, um, consider it for you personally. Don't think you have to get a Kindle because people online have a Kindle or anything like that. Just depending on the amount you read and the amount of books you buy or want to buy or want to read, all those sort of things play a role in you getting one for yourself, but I do highly recommend it. And like I said, I will link down the specific Kindle that I have down below. That was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care of yourself as best as you can, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Every time I drink like a love, like a love.